Welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Doc Squiffy channel, hope you are doing well. We are continuing on with our basic, simple how-to guides for Amazon Fire Stick. This is back on our new wave of pretty much videos, bringing you everything you want to bring, all the content you want again. And we're trying to keep it simple, all for you guys who are new users, and some great tips and advice for you who are regular users, or even advanced users. And today we're going to talk about how you can access the internet on your Amazon Fire Stick which will allow you to access pages you probably couldn't normally throughout the without the apps. Some apps don't always work on the Fire Stick. Some things you might want to do on the Fire Stick which you couldn't before. Whether it's go to eBay, Amazon, Facebook even, all these sort of sites that you would normally maybe want to use on any sort of computer, but you might want to use it on your big screen on your TV. You might want to access some websites you know which a TV videos which there's no app for another way we can do this all via the web browser before we do all that guys do remember hit subscribe we're back we're doing everything streaming fire stick android tv giveaways the android tv section is coming to the channel if so if that's something you will want in the future do hit subscribe ring that notification bell we will get there we're just getting these fire stick ones out the way and then i'll swap it up and we're doing all for the android tv nvidia shields as well giveaways always running we'll go through one near the end of the video so today this is the internet guys how do you access the internet on your device the good thing about this is once you're in it you can pretty much go anywhere so i'm on my fire stick now behind me and we can go straight to amazon as you see i was on ebay there as well so you can go onto amazon if you wanted to do your shopping here we have a complete mouse toggle so you can just type in what you wanted all works no problem just type everything you want and you can search anything in there so if you wanted to shop for say a fire stick a bit random on a fire stick but you never know you just type it in i know specifically this isn't the best example because you're on a fire stick already but you could do it this way and you can just search guys and that will search you can do your shopping as always limited time deal whatever you want to do you can search your products everything like that all on your tv remote guys don't need a pc don't need your mobile phone you can do it all there um, another site I was testing out a minute ago um, was actually eBay, so you can do the same with eBay if you wanted to do this as well. Very easy, very simple, all on your Fire Stick, guys. Search, browse eBay. You can add any of these to bookmarks, guys, okay? So when you're on your menu, at the home here, you've got a bookmark. So I've got on here, I've got eBay. Um, I've actually got Discovery Plus, Amazon. So Discovery Plus we covered on a video before. Um, here you can actually watch live TV and the programs within your Discovery Plus account once you've signed in. This is very good for people who can't get um, Discovery Plus app on their Fire Stick in their country. So again, you can go down, find your programs, everything like that. You can pretty much do anything all on your Fire Stick, so you don't really need a PC. Obviously, you're not going to be able to do certain things you would do on a top spec PC. But you can definitely check around here. You only have to search a little bit, click go, and you can go straight to your search and we can go to Facebook as well. Accept your cookies. And then you can log in. Mobile password, get onto your Facebook account, everything like that as well. Another one you can add to your bookmark. There we go. If needs be, you can enable private browsing. So that's a bit like um, you do it on your computer when you search something incognito forgot the word there incognito you can do this all on your fire stick as well you can refresh your page go back forward and back to your menu again loads of things in here there might be a few trending things it might recommend for you beautiful you can also adjust it so you can customize the menus so it's a little bit different so you can have different things in different places you can have your bookmarks on the home or off trending videos you can change the cursor speed so if you want it to go a little bit different and how it moves you might want to all within fire stick you could access anything guys you know there's certain sites that you might not want to do on your phone you might want it on the big screen i'm not going to say what sort of sites you may be into but you can do it all on here in one go brilliant how to do this it's simple guys no side loading or anything like this actually the fire stick these days has a browser built in most of you probably even know about it you might do you might not but this is very good for people who never knew it was there so it's called silk browser guys amazon silk used to be silk browser amazon silk web browser they're now part and parcel but you do need to install it so go to your magnifying glass, type in here, you can either type in silk or internet, whichever you want to do. Internet's a nice easy one to search in. And once you're on here, just go along to Amazon Silk, click it, mine obviously opens, for you it will download guys, okay? This is obviously the last page we were on. Remember you can always go to docsquiffy.com on here as well, not a problem. All available, 
all for you, all on one site. I think that's quite good. <clears throat> Remember, when you are on the internet, guys, it's always worth making sure you are running some form of VPN. A VPN is very good to keep you safe online, and that would work the same if you are running a VPN on your Fire Stick. It will then protect you on the web browser as well if you wanted to run one. A good offer on a VPN you might want, we've got IP Vanish running currently at $3.33 a month. We will link that directly underneath for you. Um, that's on a one-year deal with a 30-day money-back guarantee. This is available on limited devices. So you can put it on your Fire Stick, your computer, your phones, anything you want to. Or they have a few other options there. We will link that directly underneath for you. Go and check them out. If you wanted one which was cheaper a month, Iversy, Iversy run a $1 a month deal. $1 obviously is cheap, but it is on a five-year deal. So you have to do five years in advance. But that still works out extremely cheap. $60 for five years in total. Okay, so what you need to do, pick one of those from underneath. They are affiliated links, so it's up to you if you want to use them. You don't have to, um, but if you are after a VPN, we do appreciate it. It does help support the channel. So, guys, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. You see what we're doing. You see what we're bringing you. There's tons of other videos here you might like if you're into your Fire Sticks and you want to know some things about missing icons, other apps which work, Amazon tracking you, um, installing some certain TV apps, viruses on your Fire Stick. We've got all those guides now, which will all be moving on to the website soon as well. Talking of the website, we currently do have a giveaway running. The giveaway changes all the time, but the current one is a Fire Stick Lite. If that's changed, we will link a different one underneath as well. So if you're after a new giveaway to enter, we will link that underneath. And they're worldwide giveaways, free entry. This currently only has a few hours left when I am recording this video. So if it has ended, there'll be a new giveaway linked underneath. Just follow the latest link and it will show you what the latest giveaway is. They're all for there for you to join for free, guys. We will send anywhere. Beautiful. This one was a Fire Stick Lite and a Fire Stick 4K. Most likely will be ended by the time this video goes live. So do comment underneath any ideas you have for a giveaway and I'll make sure there's one up there. I think we're probably going to do a NVIDIA Shield next. So again, do stay tuned. Next videos we will shout about that one. Also, as another option, come follow my Facebook page. On my Facebook page, we have live streams every day, guys. Live streams every day. Um, is where I do my gaming, but what I can do there, if you have any questions or need any support, pop over to the live stream every night at 7.30. If you click follow, you'll get a follow up here, and there'll be a bell next to it. Ring that bell as well. Once you can do that, you can then join in, ask me any questions, and I can help you live on stream. Brilliant. I've been rambling. We just finished about the internet guide ages ago. Hit that thumbs up, smile, subscribe, and I'll see you all soon.